Hey everyone, Michael here. Today I'm going to walk you through a very common scenario that folks have when they're brand new to we and especially the homebrew scene. What I'm going to talk about today is going to be in regards to maybe you downloaded an nkit.iso file and you're trying to convert it back over to WBFS. How do you do that? Let's take a look. Okay, so here what I have done is I have went ahead and I have downloaded an ISO image. This one is Super Mario Galaxy 2, and you will see that it does have a .inkit.iso. Okay, so how do you actually get this to run and to work properly on your Wii? I'm going to go ahead and take that ISO image, and I'm just going to drag this out to my desktop because we're going to be using this in just a moment. And there it is. There is our Super Mario Galaxy 2.inkit.iso image. Okay, so if we go ahead and I navigate back to my folder where I store my Wii games, you will see they typically use the format of title and then there is a code that's at the end of this. So let's open up one of these. We can see here we got a WBFS file system. And let's just go ahead and jump into maybe one more of these. Resident Evil 4, my favorite game. There we go. There's another WBFS. Now, you might start by opening up this application that is called Wii Backup Manager. And you may head over and you go to Add, you go to Files, and we're going to just navigate back to where our ISO is. And you get this screen. And you may not know what in the world is happening here. So there isn't a game that's being shown. There isn't any files being added. The progress bar is completely stuck. And so none of these buttons are actually functional. I can hit the pause button. I can try to hit the cancel or close button here. And nothing happens. And you may be thinking to yourself, maybe I got a bad ISO image. Well, there's actually a pretty easy way to fix this. That we are going to need to kill that process. Once we kill that process, I switched over to a folder that I have here, and it's called MKIT. Now, I can't link directly to this program, but if you do some searching and you use the exact MKIT 2020.4.29, you will more than likely find these packages. Nintendo in the past has pulled down videos where there was links to NKIT because this is basically Nintendo's uh, software development kit. So keep that in mind. So we're going to begin by double clicking NKIT processing app. What we're going to need to do is drag and drop our ISO file. Let's go ahead and drop it in there and it says settings. So we're going to convert this to an ISO format. I'm sure I can already hear what you're saying. It's already an ISO. Well, not necessarily the ISO that we're going to need. And there's a number of other options here. You will see that there is output. You will need to know this because this is going to tell you where that file is going to be saved once it completes. And I will go ahead and usually keep on calculate hashes as well as a full verify. Go ahead and hit the process button here. And since I am speeding up the video, this typically takes maybe a couple of minutes depending on the speed of your computer. Okay, so now it's complete. And you should see this right here where it says verify successful. And again, you can look at your output folder. Where did it process this to? And so it put that inside of this processed folder, and then I'm going to go to Wii, and there it is. Now, take a note of the file size. So this is the max file size for a DVD. Okay, now let's try our Wii Backup Manager. Let's go ahead and go Add Files. Not the original file that we downloaded, but we're going to need to navigate out to that processed folder, and then Wii. And I'm going to select Super Mario Galaxy. So here you can see that it does have a size, it has a region, it has a type. So now in order to finish this up, we can go to transfer. 
And I'm going to go down to WBFS file, and then I'm just going to navigate back into my WBFS folder. And now we'll go ahead and we'll press OK here. And this is what it looks like when it is successful. And if we look back in our file explorer, and I'm just going to navigate back to that WBFS folder that's on my USB drive, you'll see that there is a new one that has been added here, and it is Super Mario Galaxy More. So, and there again, we have our .WBFS, and this game is now going to be playable on your Wii. So go ahead and unplug it, plug it into your Wii, and this is mine for example, and obviously you should see Super Mario Galaxy 2. It did have a new icon in it, and you can start that up and start playing with it. Again, the main thing to kind of keep in mind here is, is that if you get one of those images and it doesn't work out of the box, try this method and hopefully it will get you on your way. That's it for this time. Thank you so very much for watching and leave a like or a comment down below. I would absolutely love to uh, hear from you and hit subscribe too, because why not? We got more hacking stuff to do. Bye-bye.